So you'll see I've already prepped the hair, pinned it, it's clipped in the back, clipped in the back. And this is a wig that I've already cut the lace. Now you'll wanna pluck before you cut the lace. I just cut the lace first because in another video, I wanted to show um, that if you want that salon finish, you're going to have to do some work and you're going to have to pluck and bleach. So start by plucking. I would recommend that you have the wig facing you. So it'd be turned to you and pluck towards you, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm gonna reverse it just to show for the camera. And it's best to have it on your knee so that you can see. Um, if you're holding it up or you have it against something black, it's very hard to see. So you don't wanna over pluck. You can always under pluck because you can always go back after and fine tweeze it. But if you over pluck, then you can't add more hair. So always start off small and then go back after. So I'm gonna turn it towards me. And we just wanna pluck. Just to give it a more natural look. Okay. I usually don't do the very front too much because the very front usually is plucked. Um, so you just, and it's not, you know, it's just to, to reduce the density around the hairline, or closer to the hairline, I should say. I just want to go through section by section. And you don't have to go too far. It also depends if you want what type of style you're gonna do after. Uh, this is probably going to be a middle part, so you don't have to go too far. If you're gonna actually have the hair either in a ponytail or you're gonna have it combed back like this, then you wanna kinda work on it some more. If not, then you're fine. And then you always kind of can comb or brush as you go along. But also when you bleach and you go to wash, any of the excess hair will come out as well. Okay, that is done. Okay. Just want to move down the hairline.
this is how it looks after it's been plucked but before it's been bleached. And this is the bleaching process. Now, small disclaimer, I did film the parts of this video over a few days, so you'll notice a few outfit changes. I just did not have the time to film everything in one day. It is possible to do all this in one day, but, and you'll see when it comes to washing out the bleach, I personally like to leave the wig or frontal or closure to dry overnight rather than blow drying it so it may take two days for you to be able to customize it. when it comes to bleaching you want to lightly apply the bleach to the lace you don't want to press down too hard because then You'll bleach the hair so you want to lightly apply it but apply it evenly and apply it to the entire lace and again don't be too rough or too heavy-handed if you do notice that you get some bleach on some of the actual hair just wipe it off with a tissue or a cloth I forgot to record and show how much bleach I did start off with but you only need a small amount for your frontal and an even smaller amount for your closure you don't need a lot of bleach you're not bleaching the hair you're just bleaching the knots on the lace so remember don't be too heavy-handed So you'll let the bleach sit just until you start to notice that the lace is changing color and then you'll wash it out. I just wash it out with regular, regular shampoo and conditioner. And this is the wig after I've let it air dry and I did notice that it became a darker red in color, more of like a wine red and I prefer that over the brighter red. But this is it completely air dried and ready to be installed. A hot comb is a must if you want your wig to be flat, flat, flat. So I just ran the hot comb through it a couple of times just to be able to show how the frontal looks after the customization. Now this part is important and different people use different items. I prefer to use this tinted lace powder that comes with a sponge to apply to the lace. I've seen some people use spray, some people just use their foundation. Whichever it is that you choose, just make sure that it is the right complexion, right tone for your complexion and then you will just apply it all over the lace.
and here's how it looks after it's been plucked bleached and tinted you'll notice that there is a difference from the beginning and this is before i've even attempted to melt i will show a final install in another video but for now this is just to show how i pluck bleach and tint thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the final install.